Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D rotating text reveal animation in After Effects. All this without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this main. Width and height, I'm gonna set this to 19 divided by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS, and duration you can set whatever you want. After that, just go inside the 3D render and make sure the render is set to Cinema 4D. After that, just click on OK. Now I'm gonna create a new solid, so right click, go to New, and after that, just select Solid, and you can just pick a really nice dark color, something like this. After that, just click on OK. Now we have our background and let's create our text so for that just select the text tool and just click over here and you can type whatever you want but for this example i'm going to type 3d and it's completely up to you you can use whatever font you want this technique works with all the fonts i'm using this gotham black now let me just quickly align this to the center and also just make sure the anchor point is at the very bottom so in order to do that just simply select the pan anchor tool and make sure the snapping is on after that you can just move the anchor point to the very bottom now we can select this layer, press S and I'm going to just quickly scale this up. This is completely up to you, however you want. So I think, yeah, this is looking fine. Now let's make this layer 3D. Now let's go under the layer settings and from here we can go under the geometry option and over here we have the extrusion. So you can just simply increase this, something like this. Now in order to view the extrusion, we have to create a new camera. So go to layer, new and let's create a camera. Just click on OK. After that, you can use the camera tool to just move around the scene something like this so you can see that we have the 3d text but in order to view more details we have to add a light so go to layer new and let's add a light first i'm going to create an ambient light and let's set the intensity to 50 after that just click on ok now again i'm going to go to layer new and let's add a light and this one i'm going to set this to point and let's set the intensity to something like 100 just click on ok so there you go now you can see we have this light and i'm going to just slightly move this up somewhere around here so this is completely up to you, you can play around with the position of the light also you can play around with the camera to give it a really nice angle and if you want you can zoom in using this option and just move around the scene something like this now we have our 3d text and i'm going to make the background 3d as well by enabling this now i'm going to select this press r to rotate this and let's rotate it along the x-axis by 90 degree or negative 90 now let's switch the camera from active to left now we can move the layer and just place it at the bottom so you can probably zoom in and just place it somewhere around here just like that now we can switch back to the active camera now we can select our base and let's press s and just scale this up quite a bit and we can add some shadow to this so in order to do that just simply select the layer and press aa after that just enable the cast shadow option and you can see that we have this really nice shadow now we can play around with the shadow by using the point light and after that just simply press aa twice and over here we can increase the diffusion so that we have this really subtle shadow something like this and let's increase this quite a bit so now we have this really nice faded shadow and you can play around with the position of the light it's completely up to you now if you want you can just change the settings from full to quarter if you want to get a really quick preview something like this so once you're happy with your text we can do a couple of more things over here we can select this and let's go under the geometry option and from here we can change the bevel setting and let me just quickly set this to full so that we are able to see what we are doing and you can play around with these different bevel options to give you a really nice results something like this but for this example i'm going to set this to convex and i'm going to set the bevel depth to something like 0.7 so this way we will have these really nice edges something like these and now we are done with our text so our next step is to animate this so there are basically two ways in which you can do that one is by using the animation properties from these and the other one is by individually animating the characters now both the methods have their own benefits and i'm going to show you both the methods so first let's see how we can animate this by using the animation property 
so under the animate let's go to this option and let's enable the per character 3d first and after that we can play around with these properties so first i'm going to add an animation to the scale and after that we can go to add property and i'm going to add the animation to the rotation as well so first let's focus on the scale so first i'm going to set this to zero and after that let's go under the range selector and let's add a keyframe for the offset and i'm going to set this to negative 100 and after that let's go to the two second mark and let's set this to 100 let's go under the advance and from here i'm going to change the shape from square to ramp up and after that you can play around with the ease high or ease low value i'm going to just set the ease low value to 100 percent so now if i play back here you can see we have this really nice 3d characters popping up something like this now we can also add the rotation to this so now to do that just go under the rotation property you can see we have individual rotation elements x y and z so if you rotate it you can see that our character will behave according to that but for this one i'm going to just play around with the y rotation and i'm going to just simply set this to one so if i play back here you can see we have the 3d characters popping up and they are rotating as well now the best thing about using this method is you can easily type whatever text you want all you have to do is just simply double click and select the text layer and after that you can type whatever you want so for example i'm going to type motion and you can see that our text has been updated and it's completely up to you you can select this and you can press s to just scale this down and we can also press p for position and we can just move it so if i play back here you can see we have the animation applied on all the characters and this is the best part of this animation that you can just easily type whatever text you want and the animation will be updated now the drawback with this technique is that you cannot control the individual character animation and this is why the second technique is more powerful than this now let's see the second method so first i'm going to create a backup of this to compare it later on so first i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate this layer and let's disable this for now now i'm going to select this one and we are going to type only one character so i'm going to type three and after that let's go under this and go under the text option and let's delete the animation property now we can animate this by simply pressing s and let's add a keyframe for scale and let's go to the beginning and i'm going to set this to zero and let's press r for rotation and let's add a y keyframe and let's move it to somewhere around two seconds and also set the y rotation to one in the beginning now you can press u to reveal all the keyframes and let's select them press f9 now you can go under the graph and if your graph looks different then you can change this to speed graph now you can play around with the easing and now if i go back so now if i play back you can see we have the 3d character coming up but there is one more thing that you have to do is you have to align the anchor point of it so in order to do that let's switch back to the left view and i'm going to select the pan anchor tool and i'm going to just simply move this to the middle of the text somewhere around here now we can switch back to the active camera so now if i play back here you can see we have the same character animation and on this one we can control a lot of things for example we can control the easing and we can make it appear however we want and the only downside is that if you want to type a character then you have to just simply duplicate it and then type the next letter and after that just simply select it and position it according to that so now if i play back here you can see we have the same animation but there are a lot of different possibilities you can add delay to the second layer you can also play around with its scale you can make it a little bit bigger than the previous characters and let's just place it somewhere around here so if i play back here you can see we have the same animation but in this one we have more control on individual characters and you can play around with whatever you want so you can also make it to stand at a particular angle now the only downside with this method is that if you have a text that has many characters then you have to duplicate it and type each individual character but if you don't want this method then you can just simply use the animation properties and you can get the same results so this is how you can create these kind of animations and the project file for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one